As with choosing a camera, prioritizing features simplifies the process of selecting the best photo scanner. Scanners with auto feed are better for digitizing large stashes of photos, while high end flatbed scanners offer the most quality for serious photographers who want to scan both prints and film. From budget options to professional models, here are the best photo scanners you can buy. In this video, we are going to take a look at the best scanners for photos you can buy. Links to all products mentioned in the video are available in the description. If you have other products you'd like us to review, please tell us in the comments below or visit 9to5printers.com. Three. Plustec Optic Film 8100 This is baby of the optic film range, yet it still boasts a respectable 7200 dpi maximum scanning resolution. It's also a real optical film scanner and not just a digital camera sensor in a scanner body. This does however mean that the 8100 is no speed demon. Each 35mm film frame takes nearly 4 minutes to scan at max resolution but 3600 dpi is more than adequate for most film stocks and you'll have a scanned frame in 1 minute and 20 seconds. Though the front panel has a quick scan button that automatically scans and saves the frame to your computer desktop, it's best to load up the bundled Silverfast software that provides comprehensive scanning options and pre-scan image enhancement. Even without messing with the settings and scanning at 3600 dpi, 8100 is in a league of its own for scan quality. Extracting bags of details from our 35mm negatives and transparencies. It also lets you scan the entire frame with no overzealous cropping. The 8100 did struggle to reveal every detail in the shadow areas of our high contrast 35mm slide positives, but this is our only nitpick. Also consider the very similar Plustec Optic Film 8200i SEAI scanner which offers the same features as the 8100, see below, but adds some extra software features. 2. Plustec Optic Film 13.5 The problem with most dedicated film scanners is you have to stick around to manually load each frame of film to be scanned. The beauty of the Optic Film 13.5 is its motorized film transport automatically advances a strip of 6 35mm film frames or 4 35mm slides through the scanner. The process is complete in just 3 minutes and 20 seconds when scanning NEGS at 3600 dpi. Though unlike the cheaper Optic Film 8100, this is the highest resolution available. Where the 8100 uses third-party scanning software, the newer Optic Film 13.5 is bundled with Plustec's own Quick Scan Plus program that sports a more modern, easier to configure interface. However, it offers fewer pre scan customization options that the old, silver fast software and is somewhat lacking if you want total scanning control. Scan quality is also disappointing compared to the older Optic Film 8100. Fine detail is nowhere near as well resolved as the same 3600 dpi resolution and scans exhibit less detail than those from Epson's cheaper V550 flatbed scanner. We were also unimpressed with the muted default contrast and slightly inaccurate color of most of our test scans. 1. Epson Perfection V850 Pro It has been a long time coming, but with fewer people now shooting film, it's understandable that Epson has only just got around to updating its popular Perfection V750 Pro flatbed scanner with the new Epson Perfection V850 Pro scanner. The original V750 scanner set the standard for consumer flatbed scanners for a number of years, so the new V850 will be looked upon with interest by those who still shoot on film, particularly medium and large format users. Positioned at the pinnacle of Epson's scanner range, the V850 Pro is aimed squarely at film fanatics wanting the best possible conversion to digital images. Its eye-opening price tag is a result of a dedicated scanning lens designed especially for film, and it being bundled with not one but two sets of film holders. The 35mm film strip and 35mm slide holders are an appreciable step up in quality from those included with the V550 photo. The scanner itself is also an absolute beast and feels like a premium product. Like the V550, resolution tops out at 12800 dpi, but again, 
It's rare you'll need such extreme resolving power. At 3200 dpi, we didn't find the V850 to be significantly faster than the V550, but step up to higher resolutions and this top tier model pulls ahead, taking just 2 minutes and 30 seconds to scan a 35mm frame at 12800 dpi. However, there's precious little to separate the V850 from the V550 when it comes to scan quality. Both deliver excellent results that are almost undistinguishable, making the V850's hefty price premium tough to justify. And that's the end of that chapter. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. It really grinds my gears.